<laughs> All right, guys. So Mike is here. He finally made it to PA to play cars here at First Generation Garage. And he's going to demonstrate and also show you guys what is the technique he's going to be using to take out this broken bolt I have here that makes the timing cover flush to the engine block. Yeah. So, hi, how you doing? Um, so, basically, this is an interesting problem, right? So, the bolt is broke off probably about quarter to three-eighths of an inch in, which means you can't weld anything to it. It just gets really tricky. So, first thing I've got is a bottoming tap. And that's going to allow us to just get these threads cleaned up right here on the outside edge just to give us the best alignment we can get. So I'm just going to slowly work that in and just clean those threads up the best I can without breaking a tap. That would be nice. Okay. So I just want to give those threads the best chance they got. So I'm bottomed right out on the broken bolt now. But... That's at least a good start, right? Yes. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I made these. So I have three bolts, 3 8 16, one with an eighth, one with 3 16 and one with a quarter. Had these made in a lathe, so that bolt, that hole is perfectly centered on that thread. Nice. All right. So we'll start with the eighth inch. And the idea of the center on the bolt is for the drill bit not to walk on you, right? Right. So that when you when you come through that with a drill bit now, you know it's centered on that bolt hole, and it won't get, nice. it won't go wonky on you. Got a nine sixteenths wrench, please. Yes. Okay. All right. So I threaded the bolt in as far as it would go. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of PB blaster and move it down the yap here. see the threads a little damaged on the top yes. we'll get by that all right now ever so carefully we'll guide this drill bit in here no way wow that's a hard bolt mm -hmm. some love on it but I'm try not to bend your tubing here Nice. Oh, right. really nice. All right, we got to clear the bit, the, the shavings. The, yeah, with the, some air. Yeah, okay. no, I'll, with this. So every once in a while, you just got to run the bit in and out. Okay. But you saw what happened wow. there. The end of it where you welded it, it got really hard. Because so the heat we, cycles that I gave it, it, right? Yeah. yeah. So now we're getting through the the good stuff. Clear it. Nice. Don't want it Ooh. to get stuck. Beautiful. Yep, so now we're pretty. Okay, I don't want to go. All right. So Mike is going to explain step number two. Yeah, so step number two, we're going to take this bolt back out. And I'll leave these here in Louis' capable hands. That was really cool. You know, a lot of times you can get away, if there's something hanging out, you can get it with a gripper. If it's nothing hanging out, you can sometimes get it with welding a nut on it, you know. And, and that's what I did, but I just kept yeah. taking it out in pieces. Yeah, it's just, this bolt is hard. It's fragile. And God knows how long it's been in there. Yeah. What year is this engine? 1971. 71, yeah. Good old Pontiac. Oh, yeah, she sounds healthy. Okay, there you go. Now, put a little, little lube in there. All right. 
<clears throat> okay, so we've stepped up to a 3 16 So 1 16 more, obviously. Look at that, like butter. Ooh. Ooh. We broke through a Louie. Hopefully that wasn't in the cylinder wall. <laughs> I got about three engines left back there. It's a decompression <laughs> port. You don't want it to turn over too high. All right. Excellent. That felt really good. Feels like the bolt's going to give it up. Now we'll step up to a quarter inch. Now you can probably look in there, bud, and see that you've got that centered right up nicely now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, she's nice and center right there, baby. That's the biggest problem I always have when mm -hmm. I'm trying to pull a bolt out. I get off center, next thing you know, my easy outs into the threads. And, and the funny thing is that I did a whole bunch of YouTube searching to help me how to extract this bolt, the broken bolt, and it did not show your way. Yeah, I just kind of made this up. So this is cool. <laughs> Something new to me. So if you never want to stop learning... Don't be selfish, and you will never stop learning. That's it. And that's to me, that's Any the better you, you don't get. Learn something is a waste. It's of a day. waste of day. Amen. All right, here we go, brother. I got it. Now we're gonna step up to a quarter inch. That eighth inch is the one that goes in the hardest because you're trying to break through the hard stuff. And the PV blaster now in there is doing double duty, right? It's it's lubricating our drill, but it's also lubricating the threads. Okay. If it catches, it might even spin in. Right. But we can always spin it back. Out. Does the bolt inside, the one that is broken, does it get hot as you're drilling in? No, it shouldn't. It, okay. it, well, it gets hot from from normal process, but not like not like red hot. Okay. But this should loosen it up pretty good. This last step. This is quarter inch. Is, is that longer? Yes. So once there, we feel it go through, we'll know. Stop. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna. We won't break through that so well. There's no way. He says with some confidence. Okay, here we go. Should be pretty close to right there. Yeah. All right, we'll stop there. Yeah, she's she definitely did drill through the bolt. Yeah, I don't. I didn't feel it go through though. I think we we're close to the end. I stopped before it popped. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Now, if all things are right with the universe, Ooh. it's okay. I'm not gonna use that fender anyway. <laughs> it was just to mock up the, the make it look prettier <laughs> okay so now you should be able to get right in there and see that we're we're really centered up on those threads wow check that out yep and yes look at that now if this easy out doesn't take it what we'll have to do is just step up to like a 5 16 drill okay but we don't need a guide for that because now we have a nice even hole going through so it'll it'll come right out um all right, guys, Mike is um, going to be explaining step number three. All right, so this is a reverse twist easy out or whatever, you know, bolt extractor. And you can see as you just tap that. She is going in. It's going in, but it's turning as it goes mm -hmm. in. And hopefully, I'm just looking at this, it's kind of rounded over. She's been through the war. <laughs> and I'm going to just slowly try to work that out now without breaking it. I think it's going. Or it's getting in tighter. It's hard to tell at first. All right, so we use a mini torch to give it some heat. And see if it helps break it loose. Yeah, we're trying to concentrate right on the ring of the bolt. Should do it. All right. All right. Now we'll just hit it with some blaster. All right. Tap this back in again. Feel 
little solid. <laughs> She's got grip. Let's see what we get, buddy. That's good old American steel in there. Yeah. Come on. So we got a newer, or brand new, 5 16 bit. Let's see if this one bites. Yep, it does. Ooh, ooh. Easy, cowboy. Oh, that sucker bites that good, huh? Gotta turn the drill down. Mm. That's scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Want me to switch PB Blaster? Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, we got it. It's as deep as I dare go with that. That was one sharp bit, too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that cut nice. That cut very wow. nice. Wow. I, I can get the light mic. Yep. That is as much cutting as I dare to do. Wow. Much more than that, we're going to be into a helicoil. So that will allow the extractor to go in deeper, correct? It should. We took out part of the thread. Of the bolt? Yep. The top where I can feel the thread the, the, when what when that thing caught that time. Oh, so you feel the thread on the block, yep. But it feels like it just peeled it out, it didn't didn't get into it. Okay, cool. So it's just oh, yeah, so you went in more far. Yeah, I think we can get it now. America holds its breath. There's no way it could turn that easy. I think it's only half a bolt now. <laughs> half a bolt. So I believe what Mike is saying here that um, the bit ate through the metal of the bolt that was stuck. Yeah, and when I just drove the easy out in, it pushed it into the water jacket. Okay. So what was remaining of it? So we'll know if that's true here in a second. We'll just try to. But the block is safe. Block is good. I feel threads all mm -hmm. the way around. Nice. This still feels good. Ah, oh, dude. That's beautiful. Look at that. Huh? Oh, my God. Your mama. So Mike had to come all the way from New Hampshire to save Louie here in Pennsylvania. Oh, the lovebird. A little bit of thread. Nice. That's it. That's beautiful. That's, that's all the way. Yeah, it's all the way. We got it. We got it. No more leaks. Yeah. Not coming from that corner. I would put... Some Permatex number two. Number two. Permatex two on that bolt, and that will never leak. Permatex two. You it's, talking about silicone? No, it's Permatex two. It's almost like mm -hmm. it locker? almost looks like tar. It, it really? looks like uh, 3M strip cock. Ooh. But it's called Permatex number two. It's been around since Christ was a kitten, 
and it, it back when I was a kid. Wow. That was the go-to head bolt. Okay. Head bolt sealer. So it works really good for water jackets. Nice. And it'll never seize up. Wow. I just want to run that through one more time, Louie, just to make sure we're okay. Well, I could see those threads. They're nice and clean. I think we got it, buddy. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. And I happened to have that um drill bit put away. I never used it, so she was sharp. She's brand new. Yeah. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, you got almost that full length, so that's that's into the block. Not, I mean, that's into yeah. the water. It should give it a nice tight fit there. Yeah, that's into the head at that point. Correct. If it doesn't, the only thing you can do now is heel coil it, but I believe that is perfect. I think we got good thread. The first eighth is a little sketchy, but after that, it's. Let me see this right here. Like that. 